<laughs> hey friends, welcome back to the channel and we are back again and we're going to talk about more money today and uh, today I'm going to go back to talking about drop shipping and uh, if you remember three weeks ago I shot this video with Fiverr and I set up this brand new drop shipping store and uh, we're selling quite a few items uh, as of late and uh, I'm going to talk to you about how I would go about really marketing when it comes to um, uh, you know get going with drop shipping and really scale any drop shipping store so if you're interested in finding a bit more about that you need to stick with me in this video it's really really important and don't disappear just stick with me i'm going to be talking about that right now so before i go into that of course um drop shipping for those who don't know what it is is you have in this store and uh, you have a bunch of items on this store and you're selling a bunch of items but you don't directly hold a stock and i always say this is a really clever way of starting a business in the sense that it is very low in terms of capital required to get going. The only downside, of course, is that it's uh, quite saturated and said there are so many players uh, in this market right now because obviously the barrier to entry is extremely low. So that's why it's really important that you have the right marketing strategy and you make sure the content you put that is really great and eye-catching. And obviously, I'm going to talk about it in this video and there's a few tips and pieces I can kind of lean on to you uh, that you can obviously take advantage of for free and hopefully that should allow you to scale your dropshipping store to the heights you want it to be at. So I remember when I was dropshipping, uh, I I did it for a while uh, during COVID times and I relaunched the store once again and uh, I managed to scale the store to 20 plus countries and and this is because uh, I was using this strategy I'm going to talk to you about in this video. Before I do, obviously, that, I need you to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and tap the notification bell. Because it does really help in the YouTube algorithm. And once again, I do believe that the message I'm putting out on this channel is a rather great one. So, obviously, with a marketing strategy, uh, when it comes to dropshipping stories, it's going to be primarily on social media. I remember when I did it back in the day, so I didn't have the luxury of having TikTok which is really effective when it comes to dropshipping. So what are we going to do? We're going to ensure that we market across on TikTok, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and just get a broad perspective of different audiences that we know are going to be interested in this product that we are selling. And it's, again, really important that we have the right strategy and we have the right content. And this is why I think viral e-commerce is probably the best option to go with. And... And I wish I had them three years ago when I was doing my dropshipping. I probably would be able to scale my monthly recurring revenue to great heights if I had them. Uh, nonetheless, I have them this time around and I'm going to share with you some of their services. Again, uh, the founders of Viral Ecom Ads has a proven track record of, of doing this as they are e-commerce guys. They're not people that come in out here and just advertising coming from a different industry. They are actually from the e-com industry, so they understand the pain points of you as a dropshipper in this incident or an e-commerce person in general, so they can tailor it to that specific niche, if that makes sense. And on top of that, the delivery time is fantastic, and it's typically within one to three days. So across the board, it's a fantastic service, uh, and it's something that, again, if you are serious about scaling your results, it's something that you certainly should look into and I wouldn't think about going anywhere else. Also, if you're serious and if I've convinced you to check them out and, you know, again, it's no brainer in my opinion. If you go for the VIP program, you actually get 75% discount. And on top of that, you get 30% of all UGCs and a guaranteed one day delivery on anything that you want. Moral reason why I would certainly recommend them and uh, again, going back into thinking about starting a dropshipping store, you're going to need some form of marketing and you're going to need some form of content. Why not go with someone who has a proven track record once again? Having that explained how I would go about marketing my items and how you could potentially take advantage of it as a new dropshipper, I think it's fair to say that we have covered the most important aspect of how you can draw in an audience. And again, once you get over that hurdle, now it's really up to you to figure out how you're going to continuously convert uh, that newly acquired audience to, I guess, regular bias. And this is where I think MailChimp comes in really, really handy. And let's just use now, for instance, that 
if you had Black Friday, Thanksgiving. So it's a period of people uh, being willing to spend money, right? We can all agree to that testament there. In about a month's time, it's going to be Christmas. So now that you've acquired this newly beautiful audience, you can actually think about, hold on, in the next two to three weeks, you can actually start running some email marketing campaigns and you can really tap into that audience that you've acquired from using viral e-com ads um, content strategy and how they've gone about you know, generating uh, 30 million in revenue for the clients over time. I hope you are seriously tapping into that. And then obviously if you are tapping into that, you get this newly acquired audience I just mentioned about. And you can re-tap into that audience once again and when it gets close to Christmas. And that's why I think you also you need to make sure you have MailChimp set up so that you are ready to capitalize on that audience. Usually uh, the marketing element when it comes to drop shipping have more elements to it. But because I am assuming that you're going to partner with viral e-com ads for their content and ad strategy, you don't need to worry about all the other aspects. And you just need to worry about uh, the content that they're going to create and obviously stick it on your platform, stick it social media and all of that stuff as well. And then obviously have the email marketing side of things as well with MailChimp. Those are the two things you need to worry about in this incident. And I can guarantee you you will actually generate revenue. There's no need to overcomplicate situations and then don't need to be overcomplicated. And if you have an opportunity to keep it simple by just making a small investment into some sort of content, why not do that? And that is certainly what I am doing. Again, I'm gonna wrap the video up now. I do hope you find it useful. And if you do, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel and tap the notification bell. As I always say, it does really help with the YouTube algorithm. And again, if you're sticking for this long, I'm sure you're liking my content. But for now, I'm out and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.